Hey soldier, you're back. I suppose the tragedy of Karlak is that there were like just one one possibility in this whole game to get get her heart fixed. Yeah, despite my best efforts. I kept trying to flop over and give up, but Karlak just won't let me. Did I miss anything important? Hm, nothing out of the ordinary then. You know, soldier, we're so fucked. The Dark Three are trying to consume the Sword Coast. We've still got tadpoles in our eyes, and I've got a ticking time bomb in my chest. I'm not Sounds sure anyone good. has ever been more fucked than this. And yet, we're fine. In this moment, we're fine. Here I am, there you are, breathing, talking, even laughing if we want. Is it very precious to say that despite it all, I'm happy? In that case, there's something I wanted to ask you. Will you stay with me when it's time for me to go? She, she sounds uh, quite fine now. Final. Even die. Thank you. Now, enough tragedy. I'm not gone yet, and our schedule is packed with important heroics, isn't it? Plus, if I cry any more, I'm going to run out of tears and start leaking motor oil. Thanks for everything, soldier. I'm extremely glad to be in this thing together. And Sur is dead. Yep. And I'm waiting, Will. Don't give me that look. There will be no great tempest roaring through the skies, no dragon redeemer to save us. Yep. What hope then for Baldur's Gate? Without the Great Worm's aid, is the city doomed to fall? You braved the Worm's lair, seeking a savior. Yet it was you, all of you, who vanquished the undead abomination which Unsur became. You are more powerful than you understand. It is you who are the Tempest. It is you who are the heart of the gate. You're right. We are the warriors who'll slay the Absolute. We are the guardians who'll defend this fair city. Yes, the brain will fall and the people will hail us as champions. I could even claim my father's own ducal title and carry his banner after this. Grand Duke Will Ravengard. Marshal of the Flaming Fist, the city's truest defender. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. These were the lessons my father taught me. Baldur's Gate is my home, and I am its servant. I will be relentless in my pursuit of the greatest good. The Blade of Frontiers is no more. I will be Will Ravengard, son of Alda, proud Duke of Baldur's Gate. Will's courage and enthusiasm warms the air. With him at your side, the road ahead doesn't look so insurmountable. Ah, there you are. I was thinking, I'm not a Grand Duke just yet, but I'm still of a mind to celebrate. A hearty meal would do the trick. A few hunks of fresh venison, a round of brown ale. What do you say? Wonderful. You hunt the deer, I'll scrounge up the ale. <laughs> Prepare your belly for a roast a la Ravengard. <laughs> Let's hope Gale doesn't take offense if I assume cooking duties just the once. If I'm to be a grand duke, I've got to greet the people and gain their trust. First, we mourn. We bow our heads for the fallen and honor them by pledging peace. 
Next, we heal the city. Uh, we restore our broken buildings stone by stone. We restore faith in each other, one good turn at a time. Then we open the gates to the refugees, restore diplomatic ties. Baldur's Gate will again be the jewel of the coast. The Absolute's voice is gone, but I still hear its echoes. Reflections of reflections. A terrible fate for Anser, my son. Yet my hopes for the city's future have never been higher. I failed, father. The worm is fallen. A terrible fate for Anser, my son. Yet my hopes for the city's future have never been higher. I don't understand. You and your allies slayed the undead terror that was once the great answer. You are stronger than even the great worm. You will be the one to part the storms and lead the people through. You, Lord Answer, are the savior we need. First, you will fell the absolute then we will rebuild Baldur's Gate. We will take back our city together. I will name you Baldur's Gate's newest Grand Duke of the Council. You will be hailed Heart of the Gate. Grand Duke? I look the part of a fiend. I will tell the citizens and the patriarchs of your good works. They will know you carry your father's banner. Uncertainty fills the air. Will has reached a fork in his path. In which direction? Okay, that's why we talk to with him. Will? Courage, insight, strategy, justice. These were the lessons my father taught me. Baldur's Gate is my home, and I am its servant. I will be relentless in my pursuit of the greatest good. I will soon I mean, die he would be like a good leader. Then let her endanger the city. I'll figure out a way. The Blade of Frontiers is no more. I will be Will Ravenguard, son of Alda, proud Duke of Baldur's oh, Gate. My son. Together there is no army we cannot conquer, and no wrong we cannot right. Hail, Duke! Will Ravenguard! Duke Will Ravenguard! Will's courage and enthusiasm warms the air. With him at your side, the road ahead doesn't look so insurmountable. Okay. Oh no. Okay, that's not good. An arm strike on my player. Oh no. Okay, there's many men. Several mind flayers around, so.
Come on. Yeah, magic missiles never go go out of style. Oh no. Shoot from here. One day I'll catch a break. Ah, uh, uh, that was wrong. My faith will protect me. Okay. Heading there. Mist mistakes happen. Okay, that was point. <laughs> that was a poor idea. Wrong grenade. With haste. Okay, that was maybe maybe the poorest decision I had ever. Okay, close combat works. City executioner. Just like old times. No choice but to keep going. Light on my feet. Duke Will Ravenguard, a Monica Will shall justly earn. What's his current underground? He's been fighting us. done his duty. Now we will do ours. We must find our way to the House of Hope okay. and take the Orphic Hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use the hammer to break Orpheus free. This hammer, could it be? Yes, yes, this is how we will free the Prince of the Comet. This is the key Vos so ardently and courageously sought. That smug shkaketh of a devil stores it at his vaunted house of hope. Our destination is clear, our mission undeniable. We must find a way into the house of hope and retrieve the hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use it to smash Prince Orpheus out of his prison. Mother Gith, hear my promise. Your son will rise again. The Prince of the Comet will crush the Lich Queen Vlakith and usher in the Age of Orpheus. It is done. Okay, so she gets superiority dies. Uh, different kind of attacks. Different ladder maneuvers.
Mage Slayer would be nice. Say is way behind. Two maneuvers. Pushing attack. Uh, no, sweeping attack and... For large. Enemies. Fighters are pretty good in this game. And lots of hit points. Points to the dexterity or ah, everyone else has a plus five bonus, so she definitely needs that. Let's get going. But we need to. This disc is embellished with Tirsu script. It shouldn't take much effort to decipher it. And... There. From madness rises meaning. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver. That his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon Ephelamon. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale, but beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son Orpheus, the true heir. Prince of the Comet. Vlakith has reigned unchallenged for millennia. Freeing Orpheus could be the first strike in a new war, as well as its last. Okay. Beat Blake. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. The devil's feet. Ah, sounds like a cor correct place. I welcome thee to the devil's fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be and shop with glee. Yeah. Interesting. How exactly are you and our esteemed Archduke acquainted? Well, by blade. <laughs> if you are lovers, it will all very steamy. Truly? That's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. So basically, you see it deals with the high-level people. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. Suppose I don't need the bonus. Already got like too much. Critical the success. Free, eh? 
fine. I'll humor you, mortal. Just this once. You stand before Mammon's picklock, latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the Hells. That's my thing. Okay, nice. I can reveal to you that I opened a portal for Lord Gortash. Lord Gortash. <laughs> my. You asked what I did for Lord Gortash. You paid the fee, and I answered you. Our pact is complete. Would you like to make another trip? Okay, let's play her oh, game and... yes. I should think that'll do deliciously. Lord Gortash wanted to steal something from Mephistopheles. So I punched a portal into the Archdevil's dusty vault. Hmm, interesting. And then I... Oh, gosh... My fickle memory fails. If only something would jog it. My, what deep pockets you have. Okay, so she likes coins. Gortash stole the crown of Carsus. Pissed yeah. off Mephistopheles, but rather intrigued another devil by the name Raphael. His house of hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Looks like we owe Raphael a semi-friendly visit. Semi-friendly visit. <laughs> Can you help me? What no, well, did, did this is what, what I asked for looking for. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of Good course, business idea. Such a task will require quite the substantial donation 20, to Lord Ouch. Mammon's coffers. Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. Twenty five. Okay, now now we should use bonuses. I, I didn't click click it. Luckily, we rolled well. I will grant a discount, a final discount. <laughs> Fifty percent <mind> discount. <laughs> That's a lot. Why? The risk almost seems worth it when there's such pretty coins involved. Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First. You were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsick hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone! More items received. Let's go with the latest. Grimoire. Oh, I have the magic touch. What to do?
Too spicy is the opposite. To place that with her no eyes, but to, just to see at the western point of the circle. Two spaces lie opposite that point. Point to left. Place that cuts, but cannot bleed. To the right, that which smells, but cannot see. Beside the determinist aspect, the adverse room sits clockwise. So. Then the circle centers are received receive the internal marble, the infernal marble. I mean, no risk this ship. Go to hell. <laughs> okay. To open the portal, you must place the ritual in terms of the proper places in the blood star. Place the skull, coin of mammon. Con con clockwise. Press the incense and infernal marble. With haste. Ritual pouch. Okay, so they are all in the same pouch. No need to f find them around. That's curious. Okay, now it opens. No exploded things. I strongly suggest you reconsider this course of action. Whatever you expect to gain from the Hells is not worth the risk of traveling there uninvited. Maybe not. Okay, now, now it's correct. And then... Where's the diamond? There is. 